Sunil Richardson, I'm a cranial facial surgeon based in South India and Muscat. So I have something very interesting today. This is a model of a patient who desires multiple implants on the face. The interesting thing is, these implants have been designed by the patient himself. You can see this is an implant here on the forehead. There's one here that's going on the temporal. There's another one on the lateral orbit that's around the eye. There's another one here on the arch and pretty much everywhere. So this is just taped on to the chin now. There's one here on the upper jaw, there's one on the angle, a small one, and one a larger on the left side. Now the objective of placing these implants is to masculinize the face, to get the features out more strong, more defined, and this surgery can be done without causing or without an obvious scar. For example, these implants I could place from inside the mouth, even these that are right at the back, and the ones in the upper jaw also can be placed from inside the mouth, and the ones that are on the forehead and the eyes can be placed from scalp, from here. So basically, all these implants will get in the patient's face and not one scar visible. I'm not getting the patient to talk here because he just didn't want that to happen. But this is to give you an idea of what's going to happen in the future. This is all 3D printed and we can take the patient's CT scan, a 3D image, get the printed models and then we can get the peak done. And then these can be fixed in some places with a screw and in some places you can have a nice tunnel even without a screw. So that's what's happening to maximum facial surgery and facial plastic surgery in the years. We can alter the face pretty much already by doing osteotomies, but now we also have the options of these different kinds of implants that can go in to not only feminize the face, not only to make a square face oval, but also to masculinize the face as you're planning to do for this patient. Thank you.